Walter Cronkite made the announcement. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, the cathedral, I guess, way over there. Where are uh, The National Cathedral, is that what yeah. that is? Yeah. And then uh, there's the movie theater over there, and... Hi. Hi. Perfect side-by-side -side partners, to and there. from God, who? Yeah, I think that is, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I see it now. And then there's another one. Oh, wow, there's a dancer. Look at her. Yeah. Perfect side-by-side -side partners to and from God. Who? Oh, really? Or who are they? Okay, Mecca, come on. Come on in. Okay, we can do that. It's pretty simple architecturally too, right? Yeah. And they go like something else. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm glad to say I can go to the city. Let's see, this is a different door. I think we used this one actually here feels more like the main corridor. <coughs> oh yeah, this is where we were. Good Mecca. Good Mecca. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Good, Mecca. Good. Mecca, Mecca. Yeah, the experimental theater is up here. It's a smaller stage and a kind of more rough and ready kind of theater for the experimental productions with the lower budgets, I guess. Some of the high school and college competitions, things like that. 
<clears throat> Have you ever been to the one? Mm-hmm, yeah. That's where one lady sitting next to me said, Oh, you mean the movement. I was talking about the dance and what the moves in the dance might mean. And so the way she said it, oh, you mean the move meant. Uh, and she made it sound like, you know, the revolutionary movement as a, or the move meant that. She was an editor at Vogue. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of person that can show up in the experimental theater. Oh, okay. They were so kind to me here last night. I had screwed up on the tickets. They let me exchange them all from last night to tonight. May Allah forgive you. How did you become a Muslim? About half my life ago. Uh, when I was demonstrating in front of the White House. When was that? Uh, Back in 85, I guess. Oh, demonstrate, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and now they all like to treat him like he was a fucking Hassan. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh, and now they're quoting him about what Obama's doing in Syria. Uh, I mean, they're quoting Reagan. I hadn't seen that. I think it was a horrible president. Well, I, the worst of my lifetime. George George Herbert oh, Walker he was, Bush. He was the vice president. He was kind of running things behind Reagan. Uh, but then Nancy Reagan started signing also, the checks. She started making the financial decisions, and that's when George Herbert Walker Bush got in a lot of trouble because he lost control over what was going on. I don't like him. Yeah. He went to Deerfield. Oh. That's my dad couldn't stand him. Oh, that's mighty ass Deerfield guy. Yeah. Um, and W I despise. I think yeah. he's a fucking idiot. Yeah, they want to repent and be forgiven. I gave him a job assignment that uh, W could work as a co-captain for the Syrian UN refugee camps. And he was so happy that someone would, you know, think of him to give him a job working with the refugees that instantly there was, you know, an internet post and then something at the Florida house down the street. And so maybe that's why that guy showed up yesterday here. I don't know. But I always, the guy that looked like George Herbert Walker Bush was here yesterday. Well, it wasn't no fat Jeb. Jeb's fat. No, it wasn't Jeb. This guy was 
thin and like looked like George Herbert Walker Bush. Who knows, you know, with all the political fans people have, they can get a DNA sample and make a clone in a yeah. laboratory. And uh, it's hard to stop them. All they need is the DNA. How are you going to stop them? Maybe he can walk some. I don't think he's in a wheelchair all the time. He looked kind of young to be GHWB. Oh, but yeah, he looked kind of young to be him. Well, I can't stand either. I don't like any of I hate Barbara. I just can't stand her. Yeah, well, the one. I don't like. I don't even like Lara. That's right. Let's go, Ray. So you got to try to think of what they could do so you could forgive them. There They've been given everything, silver platter. So were the Kennedys, but they weren't their assets off. Nobody can say Teddy Kennedy doesn't work his goddamn house. Mm -hmm. Day of night. Well, Bobby. yeah, the Same Bushes, they work, they work, they work. Uh, the, the, when whoever it is, it, uh, it's easy to complain about people. That they, it's hard to come up with a requested remedy, a strategy they can do to to earn your forgiveness and forgiveness from God. No, no that's, that's not possible. Well, see, that's why I came up with this idea for George uh, W. Bush to be a co-captain for the refugee camps and go around and do the hard work of making yeah, sure right. the refugees are okay from Syria. They got you know, two or five million refugees out of Syria now. Yeah, yeah, well, he could repeat himself and do it somewhere. Yeah, so that's how we all should try to... He's a place of dominance. I don't know. There was some guy named Mr. Green before the first time he got elected. I ran into this guy, Mr. Green. We went up to the Senate galleries together. I don't know who he was, but he... And then there was an officer, USCP officer, officer, uh, I think it was Bush undercover as a USCP officer walking around on the hill. I got to know him that way. What was that guy's name? Officer, it was around the time he made the joke that France doesn't have any entrepreneurs. That's bullshit. Well, entrepreneur is a French word. That's his sense of humor. France doesn't have right. any entrepreneurs. See? Um, well, they do. Yeah, but you, you got to give him some credit for having some intelligence that he yeah. can make a joke like that. Right. And a lot of people... And that, I didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, um... Officer something. i got to remember that guy's name. Officer Risk. What a name for an officer. Officer Risk. And it's spelled differently than R I S K, but. Hell. R I S Q U E or something? Oh, I'm okay. not sure. That's, uh, Some kind of. That was his cover identity, I think. I was supposed to have a cell phone and keep in touch with him or something and work on the Middle East peace solution together. And I. I didn't work with him, and so he got led astray, and he did that 9-11 thing, and went to war, and all, it was terrible. This thing with Syria does better work. Yeah, hopefully, uh, God willing. I saw about the interview that Charlie Rose did with uh, Bashar. I did not see it. I caught oh, a little. I wish I'd seen it. it they mentioned... I wish you call me and said, come down. They mentioned Israel once, uh, half a breath about Israel, but the, you think he'd make the point that Israel has weapons of mass destruction as a neighbor, and that would justify him getting the poor man's uh, version of that as chemical weapons. But, um, no, I, I guess they're afraid to mention Israel for fear of getting them angrier or something. Right? And he speaks English, but very fast. Yeah, kind of like with a French accent, he speaks his English. Uh, oh, what a time. I was impressed, but he's more articulate than he looks, in my mind. Oh, and his wife is beautiful, I've seen her. Yeah. Clips of her, you don't see much of her. Uh-huh, yeah. Except she's okay. 
go. Yeah, it's like the, all these political royalty families, the Clintons and everyone. Uh, I don't know who the Democrats are going to run. Uh -huh. Hillary will be almost 70, I think she'll bow out. Well. And Biden's too old. Yeah. Who can we get? Uh, oh, I can't stand this fucking Republican. Hey, I think Hillary's going to get pushed into it. There's so many people that want her to run, yeah. But I, I don't know. I don't think Biden, though. I don't think Biden. Is. Yeah, he's, I don't, I don't know if he's a uh, presidential uh, personality. Very good guy. I love him. Yeah. You know? Very good. Yeah. Maybe go back to the sim. Mm. But they don't run. Who else do we have? Maybe a Martin O'Malley. I don't know. Because we can't have these crazy. Rand Paul. What? Rubio, Rubio. Yeah, Marco Rubio, I can't stand. And, um, oh, who's that guy from Texas? Cruz, Ted Cruz. Oh, he wants to close down the door. I'll go to this office with my goddamn social security. <laughs> I'm going to kick you in the balls. <laughs> I won't tell him that, I'll just go do it. Mm. Can't they learn anything? We said, I'll lobby you to tell them don't shut the government down and destroy my speakership. Mm. That's why I'm not still the speaker or the president of the United States mm. today, you dumb old fool. Yeah, we should get him across by and tell him to make that state. Alaska. Oh, really? Yeah. For how long? I spent 13 winters in Alaska. Wow. Where? What? Like, for... South Central. Well, if you go into my apartment, you see a lot of art. Not, not really my style of art. Uh -huh. But this woman lived right beside where I live now. Well, it was right above me. She's a good friend of Michael and um, me. Her name is Carol Spills. She's from England. Oh. And um, she's a lawyer. Oh. She wanted to work for Senator Stevens yeah. because she wanted to help the last one. But no, she had to go with her Kowski and she hated him. She wanted to help Alaska. Mm -hmm. And she was the only person on his staff from Alaska. Mm -hmm. And that didn't work out. So what happened, her father lived and ski, died of ski. He went skiing in the wrong type of skis one day. You know, hurriedly put them up. And had an awful accident in mm -hmm. the wrong type of skis. And mm -hmm. he lived like Christopher Reeve for about a year and a half. Uh, and the only good thing about her working for Murkowski, she could fly to Alaska for free to see him. Uh, 
But other than that, she hated her house. She likes Lisa better, but she thinks Lisa's not. Mm. But, uh... Yeah, well, Frank's a Seattle banker who moved up to Alaska, so... Who? Frank Murkowski is a Seattle banker. He moved up to Alaska. Oh, okay. He represents the Seattle area as much as Alaska. Oh, really? I'm, well, my youngest sister lives in Seattle, and I don't think they would like her house. I mean, they're very liberal. I mean, they... Yeah, his wife uh, took the guys out... Uh, mammograms for native women and they tour the state oh, okay. so they built up a huge address list of all the women in the state and then took over by winning the election well carol can't stand it she loves ted Stevens. yeah but uh carol after her father died murkowski fired her and so she became a trademark attorney she oh. works for tt and the good thing about it is she gets to work at home. She bought this house near Easter Market, uh -huh. got it for nothing at the time. Uh -huh. And she's there and works at home and paints. Well, good, yeah. But she lived on the second floor, right above the door. Yeah. Oh. oh. Real crazy. <laughs> Mecca. Oh, Mecca. Oh, there's Did another I dog. Do oh, there's another dog. Mecca, Mecca, show oh. your tank. Come here, Mecca. Come here. Daddy, that's just the way we doggies speak to each other. We want to say, I see you. Probably moved down. Yeah, I don't remember meeting her. But she would probably like to talk. She, her mother still lives in Alaska, uh, and then uh, she has a place in Hawaii. Too. Uh, she still cares. Father met each other. Her mother was very wealthy. She was from Newburyport. But when her mother was, you know, out of college, they had something like the Peace Corps in Alaska. It was the Peace Corps for Alaska. So her mother joined that. And that's where she met Carol's wife, who died very not even 60. Uh, maybe. Yeah. But her mother loves Alaska and stays there. I met her grandmother. Her grandmother's dead now, but she was Miss Newberry Court. Uh -huh. But she was really nice one. Full of love for everybody. Very well too, but full of love for everybody. Good. Beautiful. I grew up with being a whiskey pagan. Whiskey pagan, oh. Uh, whiskey pagan. Episcopalian. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, mom made sure we go to church almost every Sunday. It's a struggle for her to get us there, but yeah, and then I got uh, confirmed. I was an altar boy, yeah. read the Bible and stuff. So then I left the church and. Uh, uh, thought about it. Uh, think, I'm glad I learned what I did. It, it helps a lot. Yeah. Uh, when, I just like the interaction with people. Because I don't know about it. Not anymore. Not since I got out of Catholic University. 
half of my dissertation had to be it could be on class on Euripides, uh -huh. but it had to be with what someone in the church did with Euripides. Uh -huh. That was Clement of Alexander, a yuck. <laughs> yeah. But he did preserve a lot of Euripides activity. Because yeah. um, it was how he, the place that had been lost from the fire in Alexandria, what we didn't tell about it. Right now in St. Martin's, it's so under reconstruction, our yeah. ballet studio. So we're having to have our classes in the name. Oh. And we have this thing put over the floor because the floor is this thing. Yeah. And that's kind of fun. I just started that. But um, where I take ballet and my exercise classes, they're really good exercise classes. 45 minutes, I take three a week. I feel so much better. Good, yeah. Um, and then they have jazz on the side of town. But as of the end of next week, the only way we were going to be able to enter the nave is through the A Street door, you know, when you go in. Okay. Because they're taking, they're redoing the whole thing where the fellowship hall is, where the dance studio is. They're putting offices up there. And that's where you see, why you see all the trailers. Mm -hmm. They're for storage and for the church offices. They're on A Street, the church offices. Yeah. <coughs> see, they used to be in this old house on 3rd Street mm -hmm. called Baxter House. Mm -hmm. But they sold it. Oh. And they're redoing that whole part where the studio is so tall. We sold that house for a million dollars. Mm -hmm. So much gonna have, a number of two billion dollars worth of work is gonna have to be done. Uh. It's amazing how much these hill houses cost. What do you got in that gun? Someone throw a cup in here or something? I'll light the We started having the dance studio, you know, the house right next door to the floor. The woman there started the dance studio. She was a Robert, Justice Robert Jackson's daughter. Uh -huh. And she was a bitch. Uh -huh. She was real smart and she started the dance studio. Uh -huh. And she's been dead for about 15 years. So. Uh -huh. so it's a uh -huh. Oh, and the strange thing about it is. She grew up in Hickory Hill, and she despised her father. She really wanted to be a veterinarian. Yeah. That's why we have dogs and animals in their hands. She used to bring her German shepherds. They just used to sit there. Good. It proves that's the way we came. Yeah. But it wasn't dog, just dogs. She could take an animal in her hand and get them to do anything. And she were, really was dying to be a veterinarian. And you know what Robert Justice, Robert Jackson told her? Nonsense. Goddamn nonsense. You shall go to Smith College and you shall marry a warrior like I. Mm. And she did. And she 
had two kids with him, they divorced, and the second time around she did it right. He was wonderful. Uh, she made him dance with her. Uh. He was real tall and he used to dance. And uh, he used to go out on the mall to play volleyball and walk down the mall without his shirt on and right. walk back without his shirt on. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. I'm gonna, Miss Greg, you know, I see your husband walking back from the mall without his shirt on. Sally! For God's sake, you know men, they're stupid, they're going to do what they want. <laughs> she told, they used to, Michael, I don't know if you were here when he was still there. I lived where uh, Rebecca lives and right beside me lived Michael. He's an ex-Benedictine monk. He's gay, that's not why he left the nasty life. He had a dispute with his abbot, so he left monastic life. But he was a Roman Catholic, but he would go to St. Mark's, and they were really friendly for days. And we used to have a Christmas party, and he used to go around and solicit people to contribute to a Christmas party in the main hall of where we are, and the Craig Hills would come. Yeah, we would go to one like that at Cho School. The uh, uh -huh. Atwoods had a Christmas party like that. Uh. At Cho, where JFK went, I don't think Bobby went to Cho, but I think Joe and John, and probably Joe went to Cho, too. his older brother who got killed. Yeah, I'm not Probably sure. Gone, but I don't know where Bobby and Teddy I yeah. don't think it was so. No. They were so much old or younger than Joe and Jack. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they uh, went somewhere. Yeah. Somehow I don't think it's the thing. have time for just one more. A lot, Sally. I always do. I'm trying to go a lot. Yeah, um, I saw that. Are they uh, more affordable than the regular ones, or probably more? Uh, but. even research to see how they work and stuff it looks like you get a, a metal container and you put something inside of it I don't know how it works so you quit for how many years uh, let's see 11 years that's good yeah so you quit after 9-11 that was 12 years ago, so the year after that. I don't know. Maybe I quit before that. I'm not sure. I don't keep track of time that well, I guess. <coughs> Were you in the building when 9 11 happened? Yeah, I remember going outside and praying over by the Folger. 
Yeah. The comics that morning all fit the uh, explosion patterns. That, uh, I was still reading the newspaper, the print edition, and you know how they put the comics all on top, in a one page, and then you could overlay the comics on the explosion images, and uh, they would line up. Uh, I never read the comics, New York Times stuff. Now. Yeah, right. Uh, oh. But I've kind of still read the post also, but I rarely read the post. Yeah, it's pretty weird that uh, they, they trained in a Florida Air Ground School, how to learn to fly the plane in Florida, Jeb Bush governor. Yeah. And then um, right, he was governor. 11 of them were Saudis or something, and we didn't do anything about Saudi Arabia. The nose cones of the planes have controlling devices, but the FAA is not able to take control of the airplane from the control tower. Uh, and then in 1984 or 85, in front of the White House, one of the demonstrators, a guy named Tim Twiss, uh, he said, you know, they were, all these airplanes flying over the White House, they could pretty easily fly one into the White House. That's true. Yeah, that's in 84, he said that. So Thomas, who was demonstrating there, said, you should tell the Secret Service that. And Tim said, ah, I don't want to. And Thomas said, Bill, you should help Tim tell them. So I said, okay. So I took Tim over and this uniformed Secret Service agent, and Tim says to him that, and he says, yeah, you know you. I and the Secret Service guy says, you know, you're right. Um, uh, I don't. So it was in the in the. I guess other people could have independently thought of it. The, but what was weird was that Bush. Uh, See, I had been up in Alaska, was a registered Republican, because my friends out in the bush, in the countryside in Alaska, they're all Republicans. Yeah. Mike Carroll. Yeah, I got the second highest votes in the Republican primary in Alaska in 98. For all the different offices that were being run, governor, senate, treasurer, I got second I got more votes than Doyle Holmes, the local hardware store guy who'd been up there consistently. I had been coming and going. And Doyle was pretty amazed. He said, you got more votes than I did. And so um, when I got back here, uh, I, somebody gave me a ticket for the inauguration. They said, you're Republican? I said, yeah. I said, here's a ticket. So I ended up pretty close by the Garfield statue. And then all these people start leaving. U.S. Capitol Police officer come by and say, got to leave now, move on. I said, what, is Bush going to drive out here undercover while oh, some... Bush is Yeah, yeah, and so that's old Bush drives down Independence undercover and they put a body double in the other car <laughs> going down Constitution. And uh, so I was kind of in with the in crowd because uh, I've gotten... And I was supposed to have my book done in 2000 about... Zen Judeo Christian Islam, the monotheism of the Silk Road, and I had learned about the Lord's Prayer is what we say in Arabic for the five times a day we're saying the Lord's Prayer. But not many people know that. They think we say a different prayer. But all the Muslims are saying the Lord's Prayer every day, five times a day. And I had a translation, I was supposed to have a book. They had balanced the budget for me. We had uh, Clinton and they got a year 2000 zero balance on the budget uh, and a US Capitol Police officer came by and said well you can be a couple years late you don't have to come right on 2000 uh, trying to influence me so now I, I, and I listened to him I sh probably shouldn't have it's probably more important to be on time hi there hi, 
look at this top here. Um, do you have a cigarette? Mm -hmm. I'm on top. Thank you very much. Um, okay. I think I have a lighter. Thank you very much. Do you have a lighter? Yeah, yeah. Hello? Hello? Hi, Daryl, how are you? Okay, who's calling? Uh, this is uh, Jason Jensen. Yeah, he, that's correct. Yeah, hi, I'm here at the Kennedy Center. I was thinking about 7.30 and meeting up with you then. Right, but I've got the box office. They don't have any tickets for me. Right, I have them in my pocket. I'm out here on the terrace and I'm so sorry that um, I didn't... Oh, Yes, yes. And you're at the Center now, or? Yes. Uh, Sally and I. I know we said 7.30. Yes. I, just, I got here a little early. I thought I'd go to the box office. Yes, you're so conscientious. Uh, uh, if you'd like to come out on the terrace, I can try to meet you out here and uh, get you your tickets. Up upstairs in the terrace theater or out by the first floor? I got to go. Uh, we're out here on the first floor by the fountain and the Kennedy quotes uh, about, I look forward to an America which will reward achievement in the arts as we reward achievement in business or statecraft. Okay, so it's right out in the front again, right? Like the fountain. Yeah, it's uh, right by the river here, by the uh, Potomac River side where the fountains are. Or I can come into the box office and meet you uh, where you are. Oh, I see the fountains now. I see Okay, I'll come out, guys. Okay. Right. Okay, see you in a while. God willing, I hope. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, whoops, a very efficient person. This is the woman I met at the Kinko's and uh, uh -huh. uh, offered some tickets to, so she's here. Oh, okay. And I make sure I have her tickets ready here. Two, and there's a third one here I haven't gotten to anybody. Oh, hi, Kim. Hi. 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 Uh, this is Sally Rogers. Hi, Sally. Uh, I'm Joanne. Joanne. I'm yeah. sorry, Joanne. That's quite all right. Thank you. Um, I have these two tickets right. here. Thank you. And there's a one left over if we anyone wants one. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's very kind of you. Yeah, Joanne. Well, it's uh, my pleasure. Um, you look like you really appreciate the cultural arts. So. Well, uh, Anything done well yeah, good. is usually a, 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 pic, a picture of joy and beauty. So. Alhamdulillah. Hallelujah. Well, thank you very much. It's really pleasant. Yeah. It's a wonderful day. Oh, the best day all summer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I put it, my friend is we're supposed to meet at 7.30 in there, but I, okay. since I got here early. Yeah. Just, oh, good. Okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. My and pleasure. Nice meeting you, Sally. Nice meeting you. And you work with Joanne. Joanne. Joanne Kim. And, and how do you know each other? <laughs> no way. Well, I was making booklets at the Kinko's, right. and Joanne happened to be there, oh, so okay. I invited her. I know. <laughs> On my way over here, you know, on that shuttle bus. Story and I told <laughs> <laughs> and they looked at me and they looked at me. <laughs> so again, thank you very much. You're welcome, Joanne. My pleasure. Thank you. I'll see you. Are you going in? Going in yes, we'll be there. God willing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've got to go to the bathroom. Okay. Okay. Come on, Mecca. Should we accompany Sally in? Come on, Mecca. Come on, Mecca. Come on. That's good.
Okay, uh, I think this way and then uh, downstairs are some restrooms or oh, up here, here here. Okay. I'll just wait till we get in. Okay. Hi. Beautiful yeah, God does good work, doesn't God? Bus. Yeah, yeah, it captures his personality. So are you still a Republican? Oh uh, no, I switched, uh, uh, and then I switched again, I think, so I'm independent now. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I might vote for Bernie Sanders. I might just write his name in. Uh. I love him. Yeah, he's the Vermont guy, I think. Mecca, perfect, be interested. Now heal. <laughs> yeah, there you are in the mirror. Hi, there's Mecca. There you are, Mecca. See? There's Mecca. Hey, Mecca. Carol. Yeah, she sounds like a... So you don't go to Alaska anymore? Uh, no. Haven't been back since, what, 94 or something. It's changed a lot. It really... Someone had an aerial <laughs> photograph of... Uh, Anchorage and then right next to it another city looked just like it But it was Los Angeles in 1951 the yeah. two looked just like each other. So the prediction was that It would be LA North. I mean, yeah, yeah. Now this is a, a different theater. Our show is going to be at the Eisenhower uh, theater at the uh, end of the corridor here. Right, oh, that way. Yeah. Probably should have offered Mr. Schamberger or his son Gary a ticket. I didn't connect on them. I don't think they're the type. <laughs> yeah, well, you never know. Sports yeah, sports. That's what that's what they need is sports tickets. Yeah. I think Gary's kind of retarded. Yeah, he said well, something that's about. That's okay. It's all right. Performing arts. Hi. Good luck. It seems like it's a sweet old soul, but I don't think he's too intelligent either. But he's nice. Yeah, he seems to have a way with words. He can use a few words to say a lot. He seems to know what's going on, huh? He's Hi. Yeah, God does good work, doesn't God? Yeah. Loves the Kennedy Center. Yeah, it looks like they're not quite open yet. I think they said that the... Yeah, God does good work, doesn't God? Hi, how are you? 
Perfect. Be friendly, Mecca. <laughs> knows about the opposable thumb. Oh. <laughs> Walk. Oh, that's something I forgot. Maybe I should look into getting one of those hearing assisted units. Uh, that's out in the main corridor, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. Right here, you go back to yeah. the glass doors, and as soon as you walk, the glass doors on your left. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Thanks. And this is 7.30 open here? Uh, uh, yes. Thanks. We have about 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, Mecca is an ADA service animal, Afghan hound. Yeah. Good Mecca. Hi. Well, thanks, and yourself? Everything's wonderful. Good, glad to hear it. Everything good? Yeah, yeah, doing well. Yeah, I saw you last night, you saw the show. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed them. I wanted Sally and some other folks to see it tonight. That's wonderful. Yeah. You'll, it's, it's, She's a wonderful dog. Yeah, I swear, I love nothing either. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. I had a, <clears throat> we did uh, the Hispanic Awards here last week, hmm. and they had the target dog with them. The what? The dog that it's the little white Nikki, her name is the dog target. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. all the celebrities take it. So I gotta take a picture with her. I'll huh? show it to you. Huh? You might remember the dog then uh That dog was so cute and talented, and it flies on its own jet. <laughs> it's got a groomer, a makeup person, and this was backstage in the house. Uh -huh. I work, I work here. All right. So I'm a oh, vice wow. president, but wow. And they, oh, and they wow. put that makeup. She's very famous, Nikki. Yeah, that's a great picture. Yeah, the, the dog uh, is targets. You know, big. They were promoting that that show, and you know, uh -huh. like all advertising and whatever. So. Yeah. Uh, Having fun. So, how was the show last night? Good, good. Yeah, he's, 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 he is quite a mover, the whole company. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, the modern dance. It's, I've been here, you know, the whole 42 years, so I've seen a lot of shows. And wow. It's fascinating to, uh, to see all the different cultures coming in, different styles. Uh, yeah. Know, so it's been here 42 years? We opened September the 8th, 1971. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah, if anybody can help lead the way for the kids to have the right to have a, a memory of the shows, yeah. it's the Kennedy Center. Yeah. That's why I appealed to the usher last night. I said, you know, it's like these hypnotic cults where they indoctrinate people and they don't let them take any notes or anything because I wanted to record the question and answer session after the show. He yeah. mm -hmm. said, so, no, our policy is we don't allow any uh, recording inside the Kennedy Center. And I said, you know, that viola this is a federal uh, monument here and it violates the First Amendment because uh, you abridge our right to free speech because we can't remember. And uh, yeah. so... Well, they should have, at least then, if you couldn't, they should record it and record, you know, so people could gather what it was. Well, like filming or something. yeah, I'm just thinking yeah. of the performing arts entity now. Yeah, but still, they when they do that, then it's their camera angle, and it's not necessarily what you saw. Oh yeah. Well, the only yeah. thing about the filming and and taking, listening, and note that most all the shows that's strictly prohibited. Yeah, I'm and it shouldn't be if they're going to, especially in a federal mo monument. Yeah, but it's but, a living memorial to John Kennedy, so, uh, so, but it's got to have... Yeah, he was willing the, to get shot over yeah, it. Yeah, but it was all, all the integrity of, <laughs> you're not allowed to record, you're not allowed to take pictures during a show and all that. Well, yeah, why? It's all copyright stuff. Yeah, you know, it's like some... That's the American system that we all have, live under, some of it I don't agree with. Yeah. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, yeah. that's how that structure set up. Every time you turn around, there's some lawyers got a book talking about something. 
<laughs> yeah, and that's why I want to get a U.S. Surgeon General mental health warning automatically inserted in anything that gets uploaded to the internet so you can life cast and show your memories, yeah. but it's clear it's not stealing the copyright because yeah. there's this warning, like yeah. on the cigarette pack, yeah. it goes right into the video. Well, that's something you would really have to work towards getting... I wrote a legislation, that's yeah, wonderful. and maybe I can bring a petition by and, yeah. and share it with you and yeah, get some feedback. Yeah. I'm glad you're interested. Well, thank you very My much. Pleasure. Enjoy. Enjoy the performance. Oh it's on to you. Yeah, absolutely. Bye-bye. <laughs> Still, yeah, loves to dance. Yeah, last night I poured my heart out to the usher. Perfect side by side partners doing from God. Who? Sure. You want to say hi? They're kind of an independent breed. Uh, an Afghan hound. Her name is Maka. God does good work, doesn't God? Yeah, if you get a letter from your doctor under the ADA, uh, American with Disabilities Act, then like to help you quit smoking cigarettes or if you have alcohol addiction, whatever it is, you can get an animal to help work with you so you don't have to take too many drugs or stuff, you know? Yeah, it's an alternative therapy. And they can go yeah. every point. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks for your good vibes. Yeah. Come on, Mecca. Now, where is it they say you go to get this device? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, back when we walked past it over here, I forgot what we were doing. Hello, how are you? Hi. Yeah, they'll, they'll sell, you know, devices to see better and hear better, but when it comes to remembering better, it's prohibited. Eh? <laughs> uh, I'm interested in getting a hearing uh, a device to be okay. able to better hear the question and answer session. Sure. A regular one would be okay? Uh, a regular one would be okay? I don't know, as yes. opposed to some well, other some kind? Of them hearing aids. You don't have a hearing no, aid. No, I don't have a hearing aid. Thanks. All right. And um, can I see your ticket? One of the tickets? Sure. I'll just record the information. <clears throat> All righty. Any ticket's okay, huh? Yeah, any okay. ticket's okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're um, welcome. This is the time that I'm, um, you okay. have until to return it. Okay. Are you familiar with how it's uh, how it's being used? Mm, I forgot. Okay, it's on uh, number one for for us who don't have a hearing aid itself. And all you're gonna do is turn this on. Yeah. Where you'll hear it. Once you get in the theater, you'll hear the dialogue and everything. Yeah. And when you're ready, just turn it off. Okay. And of course, it goes right around your neck like that. Okay. You don't have to do anything else. Just okay. turn this on and off. Right. This is your volume control and right. you're running off. Okay, great. All right, have yep. fun. Thanks. Uh huh. Enjoy yeah. the show. Hey, you too. It should prove to be interesting. God willing, I hope. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Mecca, you want to go outside again? Again. I try to avoid the pronoun she when referring to Mecca because uh, all the different gender orientations and preferences and stuff to give an equal opportunity. But, uh, oh, there's that target symbol over there on the side. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, maybe they worried that they would lose advertising revenue if uh, uh, the copyright thing became a problem. But he was happy to hear I had legislation to tr solve the problem and just try to get. I didn't ask his name. He said he was a vice president. Seven twenty-six. Maybe they have some kind of thing here that you could volunteer and find a way to get into a part-time job somehow. Yeah, but woman, we had um, dinner with. She used to work here. I think she's trying to come back. Huh? Yeah, she said she was at Sears now or something, and I'm... Yeah, I might try to work here with Sears. Yeah. But yeah, she had that meeting with that guy, so... Oh, that's what it was, an employment meeting. That's what I think. Oh. I'm, I'm guessing. Maybe they have some program that for seniors in the arts or something where you'd be a liaison or a guide or interface for people who hadn't, didn't have the cultural experience that you do and you'd help them to matriculate through the whatever program the Kennedy Center was offering for them. Yes. yes. My goodness, the size of his paws. <laughs> the size of his paws. Yeah, a lot of it's hair, but it is impressive, yeah. Um, Mecca, uh, his hair got all tangled and matted uh, because of uh, too much internet and not enough brushing. 
So now, is that for you or the dog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too much internet for you and not enough brushing for the dog. dog. Yeah, right. Well, you are beautiful. I'm, is he like? Uh, is he a special dog that you can bring him in here? Yeah. Dog yeah. My good, my doctor kept telling me, you know, I, you're obese. You're obese. I said, prescribe the dog for me. I'll lose weight. Uh, I've trained the dog to run beside the bicycle with me, so uh, yeah, it works well. Any disability now can get a service animal if it to like help you reduce your smoking, or alcohol, or. Uh, if you're just plain lonely, does that qualify? What? If you're just plain lonely. Uh, they call that a companion animal, and that's different from ADA animal. Uh, you don't have as full a set of rights as you do with the other, but you can have it in your apartment, for instance. And uh, but I can't take him out to dinner. I not have seen people yeah. that actually take their dogs and set them at the table in the restaurant, set them in the outdoor patio. Yeah, but you need to stand and take a My cat, and I, I love my cat. I think dogs are better than people. Hmm? Yeah. Dogs are better than people. Oh, they are. I look at my cat, I said to her this afternoon before I came, I said, basically she's a wild animal. She's a yeah. black panther. Ah. And they said, how do you show me so much love? And she does. I mean, like, she'll actually even like us on the TV. Yeah. I'm upset, she knows, and I probably should put this cookie in the bag. You don't want to. Yeah. Uh, Mecca had a good treat from the Kennedy Center when we had uh, some salad earlier tonight. Uh, <laughs> she got some good turkey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, because of their um, running abilities. Uh, I didn't know that much about the breed. Actually, they like to dance uh, and move around in a as much as run, so... Um, well, I'm incredibly shocked, I guess, that dazed at the size of the paws. Even if it's hair. So it's very pretty. Okay, well, the gates are open. Thanks for your good vibes. Thank you. You're welcome. I have an extra ticket if anyone else needs to get in. Give it to our theater manager if you like. He might know thanks. someone that wants it. Okay, thanks. This way, sir. Hi. Oh, hi. Uh, sorry to get so emotional last night. I uh, appreciate you bearing with me. That's all right. Uh, well, thanks. I, I have an extra ticket for tonight. If anyone happens to show up who wants okay. to attend, would you? If you're interested in giving away, sometimes yeah. we can do that. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Now it's over here to oh. we... You need your right. to Thank you again. And then this one is Q. That's you. Okay. And I'm Q. What? Uh, I'm sorry, Q. Um, Q10. Q18. 18. Q18. I say I don't finish things Good enough. Evening. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Uh, actually, one. one over. Oh, I go one over? Two oh, yes. Okay. Thanks. Both of us? Good evening. 
Uh, what's the other number? 20? Uh, P, P 18, I think, or 20. Okay, yours is P and hers is a Q. Okay, you're different C. Right. Come on, Mecca. Yes, sir. Right here. Thank you, sir. Come here, Mecca. Good. I think. Is there a restroom right over here? I think. Women's restroom is right out to your left. Your man's right up, right out to your left. The woman is over there on the right hand side. I'll grab the chair. Go through here. Go. You can go through that door. And make a left. Grab the exit. Right. Right. Yeah. Make a right. Where it says escort. exit. Yeah. That's for the women and the men. Okay then. Right out here. Thank you, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. We might use the restroom too. That's a good idea. Good evening. You okay, Mac? Yeah. Okay, Michael, let's quickly use the bathroom here and be ready for the performance. Conserve and expand <coughs> recycling capacity a la Aqua.
Good Mecca. Those are the people, Mecca, the audience.